This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Thrillist. You know, the Associated Press did this really fascinating article about how innocent men throughout the country are getting arrested for supposedly downloading child pornography, but in reality their neighbors are um, hijacking their Wi-Fi connection. So what happens is their neighbors get access to their Wi-Fi because they don't set passwords and their neighbor will download millions of child pornography images and videos and when the FBI finds out about it who do you think they uh, arrest? They don't arrest the neighbor, they arrest the person who subscribed for the Wi-Fi. So super fascinating story and it kind of serves as a warning to all of you who have internet connection and don't set a password to it. You know, a survey that was done by Wi-Fi Alliance found that 32% of 18 to 32 year olds tried accessing a Wi-Fi network that did not belong to them. Okay, and look, I'm guilty of that too. Okay, once in a while I'm at home, uh, all of a sudden I have internet connection from my neighbor. I have my own internet connection, so everyone calm down. But let's say my internet is down. Oh, I have access to my neighbor's internet. Not a big deal. Maybe I'll piggyback off that and it'll be okay. Right? And I think most people do something similar. So don't be a sucker, okay? Don't fall into this trap. Make sure you set a password for yourself because you never know whether or not the pervy wanker next door is using your internet connection for something a little sketchy. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> so, uh, don't be a sucker. Don't let people like Anna freeload off you. <laughs> by the way, I am shocked and chagrined by you, Miss Kasparian. That is outrageous stealing people's Wi-Fi like that. Right, Uger, right. This is the guy, <laughs> okay, is this it? is coming from the guy who likes to go jogging in Beverly Hills so he can go into open houses and use their toilets. Okay? <laughs> That's coming from what? Jake Uger. <laughs> How did I get thrown under the bus like that on a random little snipe? Which I was kidding on. I steal people's Wi-Fi all the time. All of a sudden, we're doing this story for me if we're under a bus. <laughs> That's crazy, dog. Anyway. I totally. Totally. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Man, you get it, Anna, a little bit. She goes, nuke. Okay. See, Democrats, that's how you fight. Uh, I okay, thought you anyway. knew. I thought you knew, but okay. <laughs> so, um, so uh, on this Wi-Fi issue, it's really serious, man. A couple of cases, they break down people's door and this guy's, what's going on? And they're like, get down, you pervert. You pornographer, you child pornography addict, etc. He's like, Whoa, what the hell's going on? He's not, he hasn't done it. And then they look into his records, etc. find out he hasn't. Uh, and that it was, like Anna said, the neighbor who was uh, piggybacking off of it and grabbing all this child, child porn. That's some scary stuff, man. And uh, you got to protect yourself. It, it turns out the Internet's a crazy place. Did you know that? Yeah, the Internet's definitely a crazy place. And this story made me wonder about places like Starbucks, where you go and you buy a cup of coffee and you can use their Wi-Fi. Like, can people just download whatever the hell they want and then go home and they won't get caught? Starbucks will you know be held accountable for it I don't know I don't know how that works but another thing is you know the FBI gets notified about it they come to your house um, they basically arrest you in the most violent way possible and then um, they look at all of your devices ie your computers your iPad everything and they when they don't find that you have child pornography downloaded then they kind of figure out okay it's probably a neighbor and then they'll go arrest your neighbor but they do have devices that try to show whether or not there's an um, basically uh, not n a s Wi-Fi connection that's not secure. And if they see that it's not secure, then they can basically do more investigation to figure out whether or not it's the neighbor or the person who's subscribed under the Wi-Fi. And then they can make an arrest. But I don't know, maybe that's a little too much work. But that's traumatizing, man. Th there was one man in Buffalo, New York, who had FBI officials bust into his home at 6.30 in the morning. And he was like, well, I, I didn't do it. I'm not, a, I'm not a pervert. I'm not a pedophile. What's going on? And then he figured out, oh, I didn't set a password for my Wi-Fi. So, disaster. Right. And, and he told the FBI, oh, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> and now we have a new sponsor, Thrillist. Uh, they're very cool because they hook you up with uh, really interesting things going on in your town or any town you might be in that you don't know about. Right. They also let you know where the best restaurants, bars, venues are. Thrillist.com slash TYT.